Hello and welcome to this episode. I am really excited to be moving into this new 18-month planner. It begins July 2020 and will end December 2021. I will be changing up a few things in this video, not just this planner, so stay tuned. If you have a new planner that you're going to be moving into this month, go ahead and grab it because we're going to go ahead and customize it with our own name. Believe me, I am no expert when it comes to lettering, but I will share a few tips that I've learned along the way. First, get a pencil and draw out your name. It's okay if you make a mistake, just simply erase it and try again. What I have learned is draw a line on every downstroke of the letter. It gives it some more character and depth. Next, I will be getting my favorite fine tip pen and tracing just the outside line of my name. Now let's trace the bottom of our name. There we go. We're doing pretty awesome. So next I'm going to be using a Jelly Roll white pen. This is just going to add a little bit more depth and a little more pop to the name. How did your name come out? I would love to see. So don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Pink Unicorn Plans so that way I can see your name. This is my other planner. It is a Franken planner, so I created all of the dividers and get other systems and punch them and put them in here. I had stopped using this planner when everything happened because I had lost inspiration. But now that I got inspiration back, I'm looking forward to revamping this and adding it to my July collection. These are just a list of some holidays and some other fun holidays like donut day and ice cream day just to kind of add some fun to my planner. Also adding some of these tabs so I can quickly flip to the sections that I'm going to be using most. I didn't know what to do with this tab so I just stuck it in the back. All right, let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. So this was an old Happy Planner that I just cut down to size. And some of the dividers I cut down to size too. So this whole system really was just customized and Franken planned. I did make this planner about a year ago. So I am just going to be reusing it and revamping it. I feel like it still matches my current planner that I'll be using anyway. So to me, it's a win-win. I love adding some sass to my planner and these monthly calendar layouts <laughs> make me laugh for each month. So if you want some sassiness in your planner, 
just do it. If it's going to make you happy and make you laugh, just do it. I made these simply from paper cardstock and magazine cutouts. So this one is pretty much done. I plan on using this one for my social media content, my videos, projects, ideas. That's what I'm going to use this one for. Let's head back to the main planner. I want to go ahead and decorate some of the month of July. Just putting a few stickers to liven it up a little bit. I have a question for you. Would you like to have a live session with me chatting while I lay down stickers for the week? Or would you rather see it in a pre-recorded video? Let me know in the comments below. Help support this channel by clicking subscribe. And if you want to get notified each time I upload a new episode, hit that bell. adding a couple of page protectors. This one is going to be a vision board and the other one has 12 boxes so it should be good for two years for 2020 and 2021. If you had seen my previous episode on creating a wellness notebook I am grabbing some of the sheets from there and putting it into my main planner. That way I will see it and I will use it. Let's begin by moving into this other notebook. I want my notebooks and planner to all coordinate this season. And I am all set up for this season. I want to say thank you for joining me on this episode. And remember to be kind and have a happy day.